Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Abby with Abby Reviews. And this is going to be my review for Lovers and Friends, um, Season 1, Episode 4, Part 2, The Private Date. So this is our second round of private dates with the gentleman. Ooh, let's jump hey, into it. <laughs> Pause. Okay, so Premier is going on his date with Dennis. They're like at a little arcade place. They're going to play games and stuff, which is very cute. But there is a little sit down area where they can still have a conversation, which is absolutely good. Um, I think I see a little spark there. I feel like Premier might be a little giddy in the presence of Dennis. And Dennis seems a little shy or yeah, I don't know. Something, something is, something is definitely going on. I think they're cute together. So let's hope this works. Pause. Pause. So that is a brilliant question. So Premier asked <clears throat> Dennis, it, if you had a to an artist or a public figure who you said your personality is more like, who would that be? This gentleman said it's a mix between Farnsworth Bentley and Dame Dash. Dame Dash? Now, the Farnsworth Bentley, I don't really, I know of him, and I, but I don't know him. But Dame Dash, we know that nigga. Oh. 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 Oh pause. no. Pause. Pause. Something's not adding up. So we're talking to Dennis and uh he just turned 30 and he says I've never been in a relationship. You're 30. You've never been in a relationship. But then he says I've been in love. I was in love for 5 years. So you was in love with somebody you weren't in a relationship with for 5 years? How that even Because if 2 plus 2 is 4, and 5 plus 5 is 10, how the fuck did that happen? Like, I just don't, I don't, okay, I don't understand. I appreciate the honesty, but it's... Okay, so Jamil is waiting for David to show up. He's at the bowling alley. And he texts him, he's like, where are you? And so David sends him a text back that says, Jamil... I'm very sorry. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it. I'm before I met someone before I met you and I want to so it's somebody I want to pursue a relationship with, so I am not going to make it. I'm so sorry. Love David. You couldn't have texted me that before I went to before I got dressed and came down here to this bowling alley. You knew this from a while ago. I I don't under why would you allow why would you even come on this show? It's my question. Why were you? Why are you here? Oh God, the foolish. We made it back in the commercial. Look, we're back. Yes, nails. Come on through, boo. <laughs> I love us. Hey, pause while they're playing the games. So, <laughs> um. So now that he's been stood up by David, he calls Jeremy, who was the gentleman from the first date. And Jeremy's like, I got time. I, I had a good time with you the last time. So sure, I'll come hang out with you. So they're now at the arcade in the bowling alley, just playing games, being super cute with each other. Shout out to Jeremy. <sighs> David, You, we're not even going to. Mm-mm. I'm glad that Jeremy was able to come and he was still able to have a good time in a second date. Okay, that is the end of the episode. Let's get in. Hold my okay, file so file. this was a really cute episode. I really enjoyed the dates. I'm still, I'm mad on Jamil's behalf that David stood him up. Like, why come on a dating show if you're already dating some? Like, what was the even the point of you? Why? Like, I don't understand. But... Yeah, I enjoyed this episode. The dates were super cute. I'm glad that Jeremy was able to show up for Jamil and he still had a date to go on. Um, next week is the season finale. I can't wait for that. And they get to choose whether they want to be lovers or friends with these people. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, like, comment and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a kid, and I will catch you in the next one.